Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're all healthy and safe at home. Uh, now, let us move on to the next topic in our module three of dual spaces. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about a new definition, which is called the annihilator. Now, uh, the definition is as follows: Let L be a subspace of the norm space X. Then, the annihilator is actually the collection of all linear functionals that maps L to zero. Okay, and uh, that is uh, in set notations. It is set of all f element of x star such that f of l is zero. It is the annihilator is a collection of all linear functional which maps l to zero, and it is denoted by l perpendicular, l perp or l orthogonal. So just remember this. That is, uh, it is the set of all functionals which maps the given subspace to zero. So uh, what you guys can do is you can easily verify that it is closed and also we can show that L orthogonal is equal to L orthogonal closure. So the second one is simple because once we prove that L orthogonal is closed then obviously L orthogonal will be equal to L orthogonal closure. So that is simple to do. You guys can just try that out by yourself. Now next we will move on to corollary 3.1.8. So what does the corollary state? The corollary state that let L be a closed subspace. Now consider the subspace L orthogonal of X star. Clearly L orthogonal will be a subspace of X star, right? Because X star is a collection of all linear functionals and L orthogonal is a collection of all those linear functionals which maps L to zero. So clearly it's a subspace. And L orthogonal perpendicular or L perpendicular perpendicular so uh, this notation we will uh, define it in the proof while we are proving this corollary then uh, if it is uh, true or if it is a closed subspace then we can easily show that they both are equal now let's move on to the proof of this corollary uh, now for that first of all uh, I shall define what is actually L perp perp now uh, L perpendicular perpendicular is actually the set of all x element of x such that f of x is 0 for every f element of l orthogonal actually uh, if you consider any set f f perp will be nothing but set of all x element of x such that f of x is 0 for every f element of f so this is actually some subspace of the kernel it can be also considered as the intersection of all kernels of f okay so it is a set of all x element of x such that f of x is zero for every f element of f so sorry kernel of small f so if we consider instead of f if we have l orthogonal it will be the above definition that is l uh, l perp uh, L perpendicular perpendicular will be equal to set of all x element of x such that f of x is 0 for every f element of instead of f instead of capital F it will become L perpendicular so this is the definition keep it in mind it is a set of all x such that f of x is 0 for every f element of L perpendicular so now I think we can move on to the proof of the corollary so if f is an element of l perpendicular then by definition of l perpendicular what will happen f of l is 0 right f of l is 0 now just i am just writing the definition of l perpendicular perpendicular again that is the set of all x element of x such that f of x is 0 for every f element of L orthogonal so whenever f is an element of L orthogonal f of L is equal to 0 and L is a subspace of x so it is clear by the definition itself that L is a subspace of L perpendicular perpendicular clear the definition is clear L perpendicular perpendicular is actually the set of all x's or elements of the norm space x which are mapped to 0 now for 
every f element of l perpendicular now if f is an element of l perpendicular by its definition in itself f of l is zero so l will definitely be contained in this particular set now let's see how we can prove the converse part so to prove the converse part i will be using the contrapositive method to prove the converse we shall use the contrapositive method so actually what do we need to prove we need to show that l perpendicular perpendicular is contained in l so what i am going to show for that normally what do we do we choose an element in this set and we show that it is in that so by contrapositive method i am going to choose an element which is not in l and i am going to show that it is not in l perpendicular perpendicular also so that will give us the proof so let's see how we can do that so let x be an element which is not in l then there exists a positive number d such that the distance of x and l is equal to d right so x is not in x is not an element of our uh, given subspace l so that implies that we can find a positive number d greater than 0 such that the distance between x and l is equal to that number so now what we can use we can use corollary 3.1.7 sorry so by corollary 3.1.7 we obtain a linear functional okay f element of x star such that norm f is equal to 1 and f of l equal to 0 and f of x equal to d which is not equal to 0 okay so uh, by corollary we can obtain a linear functional which satisfies this condition now uh, f of l is 0 but x is not an element of l so we get that f of x is not equal to 0 okay for any f right so from this i can say that x is not an element of l perpendicular perpendicular why because f of x is never zero for any f so by contrapositive f x is not an element of l x does not belong to l perpendicular perpendicular therefore i can say that by the method of contrapositive l perpendicular perpendicular will be contained in l so combining these two inequalities we can say that they are equal so this is the proof of this corollary it is uh, pretty much easy it is just stating that uh, if l is a closed subspace uh, and uh, just um, remember the definition of l perpendicular perpendicular then we can easily show that l perpendicular perpendicular will be equal to the subspace l itself both of them are practically the same so that's it with this we shall wind up today's session thank you Stay home and stay safe.